I never even heard of it before today when I decided to have a look at Eagles Rider for my retro weekend videos. I, I might end up calling it English Rider, it's easier. English Rider is a basic shoot'em up which tries to bring some complexity to the genre without going too far with it. That's not a problem. The game is in 3D, though I have a feeling it's not true 3D, which again is fine. From the intro to the actual gameplay sections, the graphics are good, cool sprites, pseudo 3D looks which are convincing enough. Don't get me wrong, this is neither Wing Commander nor F-29 Retaliator. It's closer to the action parts of Galactic Conqueror, a game which I covered in my now old channel. The controls are also very similar, which is a pity, as the controls in that game were the worst thing about it. While the overall animation is fine, the control feeling of your craft feels very jerky and aiming in blocks. Any smoothness of the animation is obliterated with the actual effort to aim your craft to a specific direction. I don't have knowledge of the actual story or deep gameplay mechanics, but from what I managed to figure out, you start the game with trying to find a specific target and take it out. To help your efforts, you have two different radars, one navigation, showing the direction of the mission objective, and a target radar, showing the actual location of every object you will encounter. They are a good idea, and they do work. The sound effects are basic, but not annoying. The music is outside the actual gameplay sections, and it is quite good. The game has one and only one serious negative, and that is with the movement slash aiming of your craft. As I said before, for anyone who has played Galactic Conqueror, or even Far and Forget, the actual aiming is similarly morale destroying. It reminds me of uh, old portable LCD games where you had only certain locations you could aim or move. Though in English Rider you can actually move everywhere. In a way it's quite impressive how they managed to ruin it. Galactic Conqueror was a few years older and attached with personal nostalgia. English Rider, as a newer game and with no personal previous experience, has nothing saving it. It's the same, because if it was better at that one field, it could have been very good. The game is not terrible, but the distance to becoming good is so short and obvious that it is very annoying. My suggestion, if you want to play a 3D third-person perspective arcade shoot em up on the Atari ST, play Galactic Conqueror, or better yet, Galaxy Force 2. If you want something with a bit more depth, Epic should do the trick. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, if you feel like it. They are both free and they help the channel. If you want to more directly help me and my channels, there is a coffee link below for a donation of your choosing. Have a nice gaming weekend.